Go ahead. Well, when you were talking, I was thinking about an instance where the government was, you know, they, they were eavesdropping on this family. And they actually recorded the guy murdering his daughter, the Arabic family, the uh, Lebanese, I believe. But, I mean, that's an instance, you know, they're doing all this for what reason, you know? It, it didn't save a life. Right. They expected to save a number of lives. You know, right. It well, like it's the invasion of privacy. That's like the spying on neighbor. Okay. Our philosophy is supposed to be a good neighbor. You cannot tolerate spying and say it's okay for people to spy as long as they don't use what they, uh, the knowledge they gain through spying. It is wrong, period. Just like mm -hmm. torture is wrong. You're not defending the Constitution. You're not defending people's right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is the most gross form of censorship, that we can't even feel safe in our own homes that the government might be listening in. Okay, that, that's uh, uh, totalitarianism, and that's what it is, and it can't be dressed up any other way. So he went along with Bush and Cheney's um, penchant, I was going to say, but that's the obsession, okay, with secrecy and their deviousness. These guys were really devious. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're going out claiming that what they're doing is in the name of God and the family. And the hell it is. You don't want torture in the name of Christ, okay? Torture is inflicting pain on, on people. You can argue that to the degree, but you have to be an idiot to deny that there is uh, some pain involved. And Christ preached compassion and gave the story of the Good Samaritan. To say that's the will of God. Love God, love your neighbor, who's your neighbor? And the Good Samaritan, he showed compassion. And he spent out of his own pocket. He didn't say, all right, let me check the stock market here. It was a, you know, a whole framework about what's the right thing to do, what's the way of life. So that's what we have to get back to, and that's where wisdom is. But, you know, that's love, and that was why in the poem there was fight and hatred. Hate, that was the same uh, guy that people, uh, people love to say they're following, and uh, they go to church on Sundays, and when they come out to church doors, they're talking to their neighbors about uh, torturing and justifying torture and trying to claim that somehow it's godly when it's the very, uh, when it's antichrist. Christ said, show compassion. <laughs> you know, you know... What came out with the the ten points that those memos? I guess you didn't hear about them. Uh, they were in the news there the last couple of days, and the kind of uh, treatment that uh, was uh, allowed right from the very top towards uh, human beings, instead of being good neighbors with these people and winning them over to rapport. And they say, well, that can't be done. Well, then, what the fuck is you lying through your teeth? Because then you're saying that Christ. Uh, never existed, or if he did, you're making a liar out of him by saying that spirit isn't real and that only hate works. You're saying love on one side of your mouth and your behavior is hate. And only uh, an idiot can distinguish between uh, compassion and torture and pain. So, that's my rap. What do you think of that? I agree. I mean, uh, I was back to when you first started, we were talking about, you know, the, the suspension of the rights and then what is it? Uh, so, uh, the, the, something to do with totalitarian regime. But I was thinking that, you know, that's 30 years ago, that's what we were accusing Russia of. Neighbors spying on neighbors. Exactly. Uh, now, instead of identity papers, you have to have a license or an ID. It's the same thing. You still have to, you know, even if you haven't done anything, if a police officer commands you to uh, stop and, and empty your pockets and all this stuff, you have to do it. Or you go to jail, whether or not you've done anything. Right, right. Well, that's it. You know, they're creeping totalitarianism, and that's what we, what we really have to be scared of us, of all of us who are serious about the kind of form of government that we have. And we always explain to you earlier, Constitution, because then we have a system of law and order for all the people, not just the privileged a uh, few, you know, mm -hmm. and then are not for the masses, and the privileged few are above, and it's just one role for the uh, rich and powerful, so we're back with plutocracy, which is where we always seem to end up. That's another story, and uh, hopefully not already with Barack Obama. Hopefully there's time to call him back, because following in the path of Bush and Cheney is the road to hell, you know? And you're not doing the constitutional democratic republic any good. All you're doing is protecting empire, and, uh, and that's the problem to begin with. We have to transition from empire back to what we were meant to be, and that those of us who are Americans and understand what a Bill of Rights is and what a constitution is, 
okay, uh, it's time to, or it's, you know, keep on trucking and keep on building it. But we cannot stand idly by and let the man that we elected, who, den- who talked so much and preached against it, as an abomination when he ran for president, and now he's in there and already in a very short time, he's letting all of these people go. If they committed criminal acts, well, they should be tried and given a fair trial, the same as any other American. And especially the fact that they were in, they, they took on the public positions and they swore to uphold the public trust and they betrayed that. Totally betrayed it. They deserve to be tried and they deserve to be exposed. So, what do you think? Well, I mean, well but, um, I think, you know, my mind went to the whole torture thing when you were talking about that. Uh huh. And, you know, I guess we might differ on something like, uh, you know, along those lines, but I'm thinking, you know, you can't just take a whole group of people and start torturing them to get, because they might have information. But, you know, I believe it's instances where, say, there's a guy who's been child molesting and killing them and stuff. That's just an example, mind you. But uh, you find him, you know him, you know who did it, and you want to find out where the kids are or whatever. You know the guy kidnapped the kid, the kid's still alive, perhaps. And all he's got to do is keep his mouth shut, the kid dies. I, I, mean, I would advocate some some sort of duress in order to get where the child is. You Maybe you couldn't use it for uh, evidence, as evidence, but at least you find that kid before he dies, you know? Well, that's the uh, ticking bomb argument, and uh, it, uh, it, it's based on a false reality because if somebody is dying, they aren't going to give you reliable information. What are you going to do to them? And the idea that somehow if you torture them that you will get reliable information, the best way and your best bet would be to try and appeal to their better place and say, listen, man, where are you going? Okay, you don't want to have this in your conscience. Okay, why don't you tell me the truth, you, you know, tell me where the kids are and where you can, but I mean, rapport, you build rapport. And that is how that guy, Marcali, or what is it, Marsali, whatever he was, that was uh, pinpointed, it was eight hours after uh, some guy, he, he was building up rapport with him in, in interrogation uh, instead of torture, and uh, in other words, treat the guy like a human being, again, like a neighbor, and say, look, man, you got family like we got family, okay? And how well, I many, you know, where you come from and all that kind of stuff, all right, so I can relate to you there, and so I got family too, and next thing you know, and then, hey, you don't have to go through all this, and one thing led to another is our Kari. that's what I was trying to think of. And uh, with that information, they got that guy within eight hours. You know, the people who want to torture and justify it, it just doesn't work as principle. I mean, you can't rely on the information. It's first and foremost. You can't rely on it. Your best chance of getting reliable information is trying to build a rapport. So I, I don't see justification for it, period. It's just like contrary to what the divine law, you know, do unto your neighbor, what should have them do unto you, putting it right there, you know? If I had some Charles Lake in the belt, I'd expect to, to do anything possible to get it out, you know? Not that that would ever happen. Well, you see, that that's but why... I take you, your point. I, yeah, I because you. when you find an example like that, I mean, but, so... But you did find one that, uh, you know, can make people think about mm-hmm. it, so that's good right there.